Hello everybody, welcome back to Pro Evolution Soccer 2021 with the full Manual Master League in it's uh, Chelsea. We are now we were at Crystal Palace who find themselves 3 points behind us in 6th. So it's uh, they're doing very very well. Well done to Roy Hodgson who's been reappointed after we left. But uh, yeah, overall it's going all right. Apologies this isn't the Galatasaray and Liverpool episode that I promised. The camera broke, literally just broke. So we uh, lost all the footage for the 3-0 win away at Galatasaray and then a 6-3 nine goal thriller loss to Liverpool where Divock Origi is just too good in Pez. He got a hat-trick in this. He's rubbish. I had a bit of a meltdown uh, moaning a lot about Divock Origi and Pez. Shame you missed it, really. Shame it was uh, not caught on camera. But um, then we followed that with a 2-1 win against West Brom. And today we place Arsenal and the return leg against Galatasaray. So we should be okay against Galatasaray. 3-0 lead, three away goals. Should all be gravy. Next up is Arsenal, though, who are only two places below us. But the points gap is like nine points. And we're only two points off second place Man City. So there's a lot to play for. Nine points off Tottenham again in first. So, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, it's gonna be a difficult little game, but let's just make sure we're on to full manual so we don't have any of those little hiccups. And we're going to get a cutscene because it's a derby game and it's Rude Hullick giving a chat to the players today. And he's, uh, look at that, he's chatting there to Christensen and Rudiger. It's, it's interesting to see who's going to be up for the game today. We're the side that rules this derby. We'll play the better football, get the better result, and make it clear once and for all who's the best side in these parts. And that is Chelsea for this one, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> But it uh, looks like we've got a lot of players up for it. I'll go and sort out the team. We'll be right back. Okay, so team settings done. This is how we're going to line up. Kepa in goal. Reese James, Christensen, Tamori and Emerson at the back. Kante, Bellingham and Havertz sit in the sort of normal midfield roles, I'd say. Eze is at the top of the diamond. Werner supports Barbosa, who comes back in. Unfortunately, Dybala and Felix aren't loving life too much at the moment. But uh, and Halland and uh, Osimhen are, are not loving it. Uh, loving it even less, let's say. But uh, yeah, we've gone with a strong defensive substitutes array. Lirola, Rodiger, and Chilwell. Pedri and Mount to cover the midfield. Dybala and Felix to cover the more attacking roles if we need them. Right, let's get into this one. It's Derby Day. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Stamford Bridge. And it is Chelsea v Arsenal in the London Derby. Fierce rivals, these two. Blue v Red. It should be very interesting. Chelsea going back to their three sponsored normal kit because we'll say sponsorship issues meant that they had to stick with it the the kits i'm trying to import i'm having a few issues bringing them all in at the same time so yeah we'll see how it goes but here we are then it's chelsea v arsenal the, the players are ready to go the fans are ready to go i'm ready to go are you ready to go i hope so let's get into it so chelsea get the game underway barbosa Starting up front, he's been out in the cold a little bit, but Rude Hullitz trusted him for this one as uh, the pass is fired up into Eze. Bellingham, look at Chelsea stroking the ball around uh, pretty nicely as Aubameyang comes and puts a bit of pressure. Kante can pick the ball up. Christensen has just overhit that one to Reese James. Just got to find the rhythm and uh, keep it going as Arsenal get an early touch of the ball. Tierney not hanging around, gets on with it really quickly. Xhaka back to... Gabriel spreads it across to Callum Chambers, all the way up to Flanderspan with a pretty direct pass. Curtis Jones, signed from Liverpool, gets the ball out to Bellerin. Bellerin tries to put a cross in and Kepa will claim that one very well and we need him to have a, a better performance than he did against Liverpool, to be honest. Divock Origi sort of took the, uh, the mick out of him a little bit with some of the finishes that he had, but unfortunately the camera broke so you didn't get a chance to see it, but we've given that away. Willock's picked out Curtis Jones, tries to turn away from Christians and Tierney into Ceballos with a shot past the post. Nothing to worry about. So Arsenal starting the game at quite a pace. Chelsea not really putting anything together in an attacking sense yet, but we'll have to uh, see what they've got. Tamori tries to swing this one around towards Reese James. Does get the ball to the Englishman. He looks inside to his international teammate Bellingham, who picks out Werner in a bit of space. That can get through to Eze. It's not. Chambers puts in a good foot. And uh, Flanjapan we look to give it to Aubameyang. Back to Fragipan again. I'm just going to try and hold off the, the space as Hector Bellerin comes forward with this one. Into Aubameyang. He turns. Curtis Jones with a shot. Oh, it's hit the back stanchion, which is still vibrating. That's a lovely effort from Curtis Jones. And it was coming through the middle here. Now it went to Bellerin. Bellerin into Aubameyang. And this front three causing all sorts of problems for Chelsea. And that's just past the post. Reese James sees Eze in a pocket of space. Can he fit this one through? Nearly got through. Werner. Looks like it would have been a little bit over here. Eze 
tries to give it to Barbosa, but the pass wasn't very good. And I'll tell you what, Arsenal's press is causing us a few issues when we do eventually get the ball. Christensen just caught out of position a little bit. Tierney comes forward, hits that into Reese James. Tierney's picked it up again. A lovely crossfield ball towards Bellerin, who's got a Bamiang in a bit of space, but Willock avoids him and goes back to Bellerin. Swings the cross in, Kepper. With a decent punch out at the end of the day. Tierney puts that in with his right foot. Bellingham's there for the head. Kante can flip that one on looking for James. But Tierney's beaten into the ball. It's all Arsenal at the moment. Curtis James' shot is blocked well. Flangepan will pick it up on the edge. Tierney. Ceballos. Into Flangepan again. Aubameyang. Oh, just get enough space for the shot. And Kepa's there with a decent save. And I think Emerson's going to have just about enough to keep that one in and clear his lines. He's actually found Eze with a, with a very good pass. He's... Werner has uh, robbed Chambers and he's got Barbosa making a great run and this could be one hell of a counter-attack. Barbosa shoots! But it's past the post and off target. Good counter-attack from Chelsea. The direct ball forward really seemed to help. Werner picked up the loose pass from Chambers. Flicked it into Barbosa onto the favoured left foot. But just couldn't get the angle right. Not testing Milinkovic Savic in net. It's being played at quite a pace this game as Hector Bellerin finds himself. You're going to say that Arsenal probably can't keep this tempo up for the whole game Aubameyang's going to look to turn ball in and nobody's going to get on the end of that but once again Arsenal showing they can be pretty dangerous it's a shot from Aubameyang that he got all wrong to be honest Bellerin uh, did well was held up over there got a little deflection Aubameyang left foot tried to curl it no chance Reese James lovely crossfield pass to pick out Emerson there feeds it in towards Barbosa tries to knock that one off towards Eze but Gabriel Barbosa's hold up play isn't isn't the best actually is oh Frank Japan could be in here Ceballos decided not to give him the ball Willock's tried to feed that one through Kante's got back there Frank Japan turns shoot past the post again Arsenal looking threatening Frank Japan I saw the one two happening I was trying to get Tamori back in play luckily Kante did cover him and uh, Kante was there just to put a bit of pressure on and shot goes past the post Eze picks the ball up in her pocket space surely a foul there referee yep he has given it and Drew Bellingham's going to look to take this one quickly, but gets the pass. Oh, wrong. Well, why did he do that? I know three kicks are pretty terrible. Aubameyang tries to feed in Curtis Jones, but Kepa gets the ball back from Christensen. Reese James. Bellingham into Kante. Chelsea just trying to move the ball around, get this Arsenal defence moving a bit. Again, Barbosa slow on his slow on his toes to, to turn and get towards the ball. Frangipan out towards Hector Bellerin. I must say, Arsenal are... Completely pulling us all over the place and there's the first goal. It's been coming. It's Arsenal 1, Chelsea 0 in the derby. And it's Curtis Jones who uh, well, scores a lovely goal, to be honest. Absolutely lovely goal. Oh, it's a good header. He's just get, he gets above Reese James at the back post. And Bellerin, right-footed cross in. It's a lovely header. Kepa's got no chance. Great goal. 1-0 Arsenal. Werner into Barbosa. This is pretty much straight from kickoff as uh, Chelsea looking to respond straight away. Emerson... Gets up onto his right foot. Not the ideal thing, but Tierney heads it away. Reese James with the volley. Oh, just needed a little touch from someone. He goes past the post. Chelsea finally coming alive after going 1 0 down. Uh, cross in, and Tierney headed it away. Reese James fancied his effort. A dipping volley. Just not on target. Reese James into Werner. Gives it back to Reese James on the right hand side. Up against Tierney. Oh, it's a fantastic tackle from the Scotsman. And uh, Reese James has just stopped in his path. His Tierney now has the ball. Can Chelsea keep this press on? Ceballos, Werner, Gabriel. Chambers, Arsenal trying to play their way out, but could be playing themselves into a bit of trouble here. Tierney goes long, it hits Jude Bellingham and goes behind for a throw. Half an hour gone, 1-0 Arsenal. And you've got to say, they are good value for their lead, but that is a terrible throw from Tierney. Averts looks to feed that one through to Eze. Just overhit though. Easy for Milinkovic Savic. We haven't tested the keeper enough. We haven't really done enough in this game as Aubameyang tries to win the header. Christensen, poor pass out. Tierney will get there. Jones, Tierney again. All the pressure is sort of coming from this. The wings from Arsenal. Christensen covers that one well. But Jones for company, so just happy to put his foot through it, clear it away. It's going to fall to Tierney. And yeah, we're just not. I mean, it's been a couple of days since I've played Pez, but we're just not getting the... Uh, in the field for full manual again yet yeah? that's, that's a great ball Bellerin oh, oh could have done better yeah, I just feel like Barbosa doesn't quite give us enough up front when you compare him to the likes of Dybala Haaland 
Werner. I might put Werner as the central striker as uh, Bellerin's going to be robbed there by Emerson. And it's, uh, I'm trying to pass my way out of the back because that's obviously that's how we need to counter attack as Willock into Flangerpan. So Bios tries to dig that one over the top. Tierney is in behind and it's a good save. And it's James. Let's just, let's just clear our lines. Go long. Easy again though. Kante will pick this one up. Flicks it out. Werner gets there first. He's gone a long way round, but he has got the pace to help out. So Bias with a good challenge. Throw in Chelsea. Five minutes to half time. We've really not been very good in this game. Barbosa. Waiting for the overlapping run and gets it from Havert. So can put in a good cross. Referee, is that a foul? No, it's a corner though. And uh, we are pretty we are dangerous in corners. Using the true Brits tactic if anyone watches him. Yeah, we like to uh, send a man to the front post to Mori. Should beat Bellerin. Does beat Bellerin. Eze's there. Can't win the header and it's a punch from Olympic Savic. And Reese James is going to be first to the ball again. Tries to dink it over Olympic Averno. He brings it down really well. Oh, I thought I had turned Gabriel then, but I hadn't. I thought I had turned him. Bellerin on the ball. Chambers finds Willock. And Arsenal are picking the pockets of space. That should be... Tomori's to cover quite easily that one and it is Tomori Reese James just repeat that on one more to Bellingham Eze's in a pocket of space Eze round the corner to Werner Werner back inside to Eze Eze to Barbosa oh, he's just not quick enough on the ball he's just not quick enough on the ball Kante has to cover Zabamian could be in and uh, we get numbers back and cover that well oh no I, I don't know how I didn't see Curtis Jones until after I'd passed that but his shot is Charged down very well by Christensen. It's going to fall to Flangerpan with a shot. I thought a good save right on the stroke of half time. I nearly gifted them a goal there because I don't know how I didn't see Curtis Jones with that pass. I'm going to blame the lack of sleep. I was up until four o'clock in the morning watching Man United beat Brighton. So there is a slight bit of a lack of sleep and fatigue. But Jacker puts this one in. Havertz does win the header. Will it? He's going to try and turn, but it's 1-0 at half-time. Curtis Jones' header is the difference. 26 minutes on the clock. Gave them the lead, and Chelsea have been disappointing. One shot, I think. Two shots in the game. Reese James and Gabriel Barbosa. It's domination by Arsenal. Not what we want at home to our London rivals. So just a little tactical tweak into the second half. We've just swapped around Werner and Barbosa. Make Werner the, uh, the central striker. We may actually take... Even though Barbosa's on a big up blue arrow, which means he's incredible... I'm still probably going to bring on someone like Zhao Felix or Dybala in there because it's just a, just a more all-round complete player that you need to support the striker. As uh, Bellerin comes forward, gets around for Vert, puts it in towards Flangerpan, turn on a shot, but that one's easy for Kepperin. All right, let's get going. Let's get going quickly. Bellerin, there's a man over here, and it's Emerson. Emerson can fire this one up towards Barbosa. That's a bit better hold-up play from the Brazilian, Bellingham. Oh, Sabayos so beat into the ball. Somewhere. Jones. Christensen again. And we are sort of getting caught out with our attacking fullback. So I may take that off. But it is making sure that Kante uh, drops in and offers us some support. Emerson to Eze. Back to Havert. And feed it up to Bellingham. A bit of space being created by some better movement now as Werner picks up the loose ball. Ah, ref, we'll have the free kick. We'll have the free kick. I don't want the advantage. Because now we're going to lose all the advantage. Reese James, Havertz. Barbosa pulls off and gives him a bit of space. That's got to be a foul referee. Yeah, thank you. Because I've done a little jink. I think I nutmegged him. And uh, it is a free kick. We could bring on Dybala for this. Barbosa. He's getting... He's, he's not quite a nutmeg. But he is getting involved more in the game. So we'll give him a bit longer. Uh, Reese James is the best free kick taker. So the right back is going to get a go from here. Reese James, what can he do? Oh, it's just... Oh, it took a deflection which took the pace off it and Milinkovic Savic could dive on it and keep it out. Irritating. Very irritating. Tierney on the ball. Back to Gabriel. Yeah, this is, this is better from Chelsea. What a press this is. Much better. Milinkovic Savic has to go long. It's not. Ah, oh, Bamian just too tall for Emerson. There's a Willock. Chambers. That's good. Bamian and Yeah, I was going to say Bellerin could be in. It's a good ball. Back to Bella in the left footed cross. Hits Tamori and that'll be a corner. And Arsenal are dangerous on that counter attack. I thought we'd put a good press on there. Pressing the keeper, pressing the centre backs as they pass the ball. But 
just not enough. Xhaka with the corner. Swings this one in. Tamori is underneath it. Beats Curtis Jones, who's already got a goal to his name today. Bellerin picks this one up, but Reese James reads the little cut inside and wins the goal kick. 57 minutes gone. 1-0 Arsenal still. Chelsea still probing away at this uh, Arsenal defence. Bellingham picks out Eze. Reese James tries to flick that in towards the Duke. Bellingham, who's got the wrong side of Chambers. Oh, and his head has passed the post. Oh, what a chance. What a chance. He's a bit of a hopeful little cross in towards him uh, from Reese James. But Bellingham laid it off to Eze. Just continued running in a straight line. And uh, a light left-footed cross in, and Chambers misjudged it. Oh, just past the post. The game does seem to be uh, turning a little bit now in Chelsea's favour. Arsenal are sitting back a little bit more, not so much of a high press. And they're still trying to play their way out, which can cause a few issues, as uh, Granit Jack is finding here. And the ball goes long again. Christensen can't quite get above Aubameyang, and this is the problem. Arsenal winning those balls forward, and, and the second ball's down and the knockdowns, but that's a good tackle from Emerson. Poor pass, though. Really poor pass. I'm rushing it a little bit because I'm desperate to score. Tierney into Willock, who does manage to feed it through to Aubameyang. And Japan's got loads of space. Someone needs to go and close him down. It was a good little dub double touch, but didn't quite work for him. Kante, Havertz. As they get there, no, it's just little knocks, little touches on the ball for, uh, for Arsenal. It's just stopping the rhythm that we're trying to get with our passing. Then we can go and put pressure on Tierney and win the ball, which is good. Feeds it off to Kante. Yeah, I've got runners up there, but just... Ah, yeah, that's all I can say. Yeah, it's just a frustrated noise at the moment. Bellerin. Okay, and we're trying to keep this relatively high press on to force the long ball forward. But every time they find bloody Aubameyang, he wins the ball in the air. That's not a good pass out either. I need to just continue to take my time. At the run of Fran Japan. That's it. Outnumber, outnumber him when he gets the ball. That's how you stop a Bamiang in this game. Tierney. On the left. Bellingham puts in a, a good challenge. Lays it back to Christensen. Right. A bit of possession. A bit of possession. Just dink that over a Bamiang so that he can't intercept it. Averts. Kante. Up to Barbosa. I think that one to Reese James. Reese James tries to give it back to Barbosa, who is going to beat Gabriel to the ball, but he's just. Pushed off it. We'll have the corner. Right, Gabriel's coming off. My boy's coming on. Dybala. Come on in, my boy. Paolo Dybala on to try and save the day. His first task is going to be the swing in this free kick. And try and pick out uh, someone. And the near post says, Abamian goes off. That's good news. That is very good news. Right, Curtis Jones, come and mark me because you're tiny. Christensen, win this header. Oh, damn it. Actually, Chris, I don't know if Curtis Jones is that small. We won a header over Reese James, so... Kante oh, fires that towards Christensen, but gets a bit lucky. Oh, that's crap. Full manual, people. Tierney under pressure. Chelsea trying to sort of keep this press on. Arsenal every time. Just got enough people there to pass it around. As Pepe's come on as well. Looks like Pepe's through it, playing through the middle instead of Fran Japan. That's an easy save for Kepa, that one. But, uh, yeah, it looks like Arsenal have mixed this up just a little bit. I've thrown that over. Reese James, who's going to come off? We need flying fullbacks on at the moment. Tierney. Jones, back to Tierney. He's going to go in behind Christensen. I saw that coming a mile off. Jones is there. Does manage to lay it back to Tierney. Left foot across in. That should be easy for Tamori. And it's a, a decent header away that can find Timo Werner. Flicks it onto Jude Bellingham. Eze. Eze sees the run of Dybala. And he's going to get there first somehow. Dybala can uh, look to cut this one back. He was off balance and Chambers just clears it away. Tamori now does beat Lacazette in the air. It's not quite uh, a Bamiyang anymore. Kai Havertz, he's Reese James in a pocket of space. Terrible pass out to him though. And passes like that that are going to really cost me an opportunity of getting back in this game. Lacazette into Pepe. Pepe is blocked by Christensen and Kante is going to leave that for Kepa to clear. Timo Werner, oh that's a great head of that. Eze into Dybala. Dybala lays it out towards Emerson. Emerson, great burst of acceleration. Oh, Bellerin, what a recovery tackle. Hector Bellerin, take a bow, son. That was superb. Kai Havertz picks up the ball in central midfield and he's got 
runners in front of them. One of them is Dybala. Turn shot. Oh, just couldn't connect properly. So it's a substitution then for Chelsea as uh, Emerson is replaced by Ben Chilwell. Mason Mount comes on for Kai Havertz. And Reese James is replaced by Lirola as well. And uh, yeah, so five minutes to go. It's not... The problem today is that we haven't created good enough chances. But I'm hoping with the changes up top, that might change Werner. Oh, it's done very well there, Timo. Oh, it's those passes where... Oh, what I've done is I've played a couple of games online in my club just to see if it's... Uh, see what it's like at the moment and where you don't play that on manual you play that on pass support one it's just a little more awkward Kante oh I'm trying to force it don't force it Dave come on Lerola you've got loads of energy go and press Ceballos puts that back through to Jones again Christensen can't quite get it that's a better that's a better tackle well done. Christensen Kante Bellingham Chilwell, fresh legs, Eze, Werner, Werner into Dybala, Dybala, lovely back heel, Lirola, the right back, oh, Milinkovic Savic, what a saving goal, oh, patience, I finally built something up with patient passing, and it got a good opportunity, Dybala, good hold up, a lovely back heel, it's Lirola, it's a good strike, a bit too central, I need to bring out the arrow, the name of the arrow, but Mason Mount, is going to take this corner we are what should we go for here let's just uh let's fire this one let's just fire this one in see if we can have something a bit a bit different mason mount tries to swing in tamori oh it's bouncing around christensen keeps it alive Eze. oh i've missed oh my god oh my god Tamori missed the header. It just bounced around. Christensen knocked it back in Eze. I've managed to put that past the goalkeeper and the post. Oh, no, I haven't. Let's put it down as a save. Right, let's go for that again. Let's go train. Just sort of fire it into that gap. Mount. Swings it in. Eze. Oh. It's going to be it, isn't it? They were. He's booted out. We're going to get maybe one last chance. It is the 92nd minute. Time is up. Eze's in loads of space. Not being picked up to do here there's a man on the edge I'm going to pick him out Mason Mount on one more Irola Bellingham tries to flick it over the top Irola knocks it down Werner oh he's offside I overcomplicated it I overcomplicated it and we're going to lose to Arsenal and lose space and points to that second place spot ah that's it yeah it's a 1-0 loss that header in the first half. We played better in the second half. I remembered how to play full manual, but seven shots, two on target. That's the problem. So many off target. How did I miss that with Eze as well? Ugh. So I'm still shaking my head in disbelief. Man United drew with West Brom. Liverpool won annoyingly. Um, Tottenham won. That's annoying. Where's Palace? Palace lost 2-0, so that's okay. Man City won as well, which is infuriating. So the gap is opening up again. Yeah. So irritating. So irritating. But next up is the Champions League. Uh, we've got national team squad announcements. No one cares. No one cares. We're going to have Galatasaray in the Champions League. 3-0 up from the first leg. So uh, I'm confident that we can get a good result here. And march on in the Champions League. Winning the Champions League is, is technically the end goal of this save. But I think we sort of need to win the league uh, as well, I guess. But um, I don't know what we've got going on in the office. Mendy. We've got Kana. From Ghent, no, probably they're probably not going to be able to afford him, to be honest, I would say. Uh, Billy Gilmore, 2 million, no, that's rubbish in that negotiation. Uh, Mendy, 2 million, no, that's rubbish in that negotiation. What else have we got? Kana, 2 million, no. What's up with, what's with the computer giving us rubbish deals? And Ramsdale is leaving because Leicester paid his release fee. Um, right, let's get into the game against Galatasaray and see how we get on because we need a win so sort of mixing things up a little bit today mendy comes in goal james christensen rudiger and emerson at the back kante kovacic and mariba in the middle Havertz supports Zhao felix and halland up front on the bench uh, mendy karna lirola bellingham gravenberch dybala and ossiman so a pretty strong bench mix of youth and uh, experience in this one let's just make sure we've got the correct people no that's penalty takers mate we need the two center backs coming up for corners and we are going to tell Halland just to 
be that central focus point. Right, let's get into this one. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Champions League is back. I don't know what that intro was. It was uh, ladies and gentlemen, like I've been drinking. I haven't. It's early in the morning. Um, yes, Chelsea wearing their very interesting uh, Europa Europa League Champions League third kit. Tell me low, what do you think of that in the comments. And um, yes, I'm looking forward to this one. A 3 0 lead. It should be a pretty easy game. I'm just looking for us to make chances. That's what I want. That's all I want for us in this game is to be able to create some good chances. Now, we know that Galatasaray are going to have to come and attack us and, well, straight away. We could be in here because Kai Havertz has got a sweet left foot. Oh! Should have said cultured left foot, shouldn't I? I should have said Kai Havertz has got a cultured left foot and it would have been also advertising my own channel, but I said sweet left foot. But, uh, yeah, loads of space picked up for Havertz. It's a great, great start from Chelsea. Galatasaray playing themselves into danger already, trying to pass it out from the back. Nearly ran straight into uh, Jean Felix as Ed Dalawi plays that one in. Randovic, Lewin Dharma. Up to Sills. Sills goes uh, up to Akbaba, who had a, a decent game in the first leg. He wasn't too bad, but also giving this as an opportunity. Yeah, Mariba gets a run out here. Haaland's into the team. Give him a chance to uh, get to know the players and how, they, how everyone plays. Beat that, boost that team spirit. That's terrible. And uh, Haaland has picked up this loose ball. And he can give this one into Felix. He's going to just try and hold on to this ball and turn away from the defenders. And he's got runners. One of them's Reese James. Reese James in towards, oh, in towards Haaland. But it was good defending in the end. And that's the thing. I'm happy. You know, we've got the 3-0 lead. We're not going to have to, um, ru like, rush chances. Even if they score, I know that we've got... Plenty of time to keep them going. As uh, Mariba can fire this one up towards Alan. That's a great one from Havertz. Havertz into Felix. Oh, defender got lucky. Defender got lucky. Felix looks for Haaland again. These two actually connecting really well. It's a lovely ball through to Zhao. Felix, the defender, just gave him a nudge. Don't know if you saw the power bar come up there, but I'd actually press that. It wasn't to shoot. I'd press that to cross because uh, I think it was Havertz had pretty much an open goal. Zantali, Abdelalawi. Oh, I thought I'd read the pass. Mahan. Mahan comes forward up against Moriba, the new signing. Oh, great challenge. Moriba. Right, Haaland, get on your bike. We'll put it into Felix, who can flick that one more. Ah, oh, just too much for Kante. Just too much. Abdelalawi's going to try and get in. He's got him behind Emerson and brought that down really well. Abdelalawi into Mahan. Mahan just robbed by, uh, by Emerson, though. Haaland. We'll pick this one up into Felix. Oh, I thought I was going to get the first touch. But uh, Louis Dharma got there first. Haaland can turn. Turn and put a ball through. Ah, offside. It wasn't a good pass anyway, but it was offside. Kovacic into Kante. Check this. I mean, and then, yeah, like today, everyone feels fluid and smooth and he's moving well. As uh, Havertz. What's he got here? Can try and lay this one into Felix. But the defender just gets there first. Christensen can... What a first time. What a, I'd love to be able to do that as a centre-back. I, I used to play... Oh, I still play centre-back when uh, football's back. But, yeah, I'd love to have the confidence to power volley a pass to my centre-back partner. It'd be incredible. Oh, that was crap, Christensen. That's more like what I would probably do on a football pitch. Christensen ball through. Oh, my God. What a ball through to Falcao. Falcao's in. Galatasaray score. 3-1. We're not going to watch that again. That was all because of my rubbish passing. But uh, we've been the better team, so we know that we can score in this game. It's fine. Kante, Moriba, Havertz, Moriba again, and uh, well, Moriba's done very well here, oh, they just squeezed out of it there, that's uh, part of the problem, oh, Falcao is, he's, he's playing like prime Falcao now, isn't he, like Monaco Falcao, Akaba's in, oh, he nearly, nearly, 3-2, in 3-2, 20 minutes gone, I would have been worried, I would have been worried, right, back my ideas up, come on. Oh, my passing is all off again as Mendy reads that one. I was, yeah, I just try to force a ball through there from Kante down the middle because they are leaving they're leaving Havertz in quite a lot of space like this so you can turn with him. As uh, Haaland gave me a good run but I couldn't get the ball through. That's oh, that a right idea but not the best execution. I'll tell you what, full manual is a thing that you if you don't play it for a couple of days, man, does it affect you. Felix can turn this one around the corner to Haaland. Oh! need to shoot first time or quicker or hold the ball up or do something better than just let the defender run into me and win the ball. Alan into Felix and he's got a run of Havertz and oh, Havertz is going to sort of bundle his way through. Oh, 
was good defending in the end. And I just, yeah, I'm not, I don't know what's up with me today. Not taking the shots when I should and overplaying everything, which is very unlike me. I'm, I don't mind playing a little bit direct at time. That's better. Jao Felix and swing this one in. Too close to Verpips, though. Verpips. And uh, it's a, a relatively easy catch when you look at it. The camera, Balanda. Leon Dharma. Ooh, thought I'd read that as well. 15 minutes to go in the first half. We're 1 0 down, 3 1 up on aggregate. Not too much to be worried about. We'll get back in the rhythm of, of full manual and then the results will flow. Trust me, I shouldn't have had two days off. It was my birthday yesterday, so that's uh, one of the reasons why I had uh, a couple of days off Pez, because I had lots of things planned for my birthday. And if you haven't, uh, if you didn't know it was my birthday, then just leave, you, leave me a comment that says, Happy birthday! Uh, if you so please. Obviously, I'm not going to force you to say happy birthday. I'm chatting about my birthday, and I'm giving the ball back to Galatasaray. Focus. Come on. Sills on the left-hand side for Galatasaray. Tries to swing the cross in. Our oh, Christensen has just had an absolute brain fart. All right, let's get that one up towards Halland. It's a, I don't know why that stayed so low. It was a, meant to be a clearance, not a pass. Obviously, something might have been up with the body shape. Belanda. Atibo. Now we can go and press with Kante. That's it. Get the two-man press on. Once he's made a little bit of an error with the ball. Reese James couldn't quite get that one. Sills is uh, there again. He turns onto the edge. Atibo. Oh, a great turn from there. Atibo shoots past the post. And Galatasaray are playing much better than us. That's the simple fact of it at the moment. There's uh, the right-hand side. Good, good turn from Sills. Laid it back to Atibo. I thought I'd go and press. Too late, but yeah, it's going to be a good effort to score from there. But they are playing better than us. But here comes Moriba with a chance. Alan's made the run. I think you're offside. Yeah. Shouldn't have passed that. It was so obviously offside. I knew it as well. I knew it. We had a good four on four there and I've wasted it. Use your eyes, Dave. Use your eyes. I'll tell you what. I think I'm playing I think I'm playing a little bit too direct. Kovacic, great interception there. Jao Felix have forced him a little bit wide. Good turn onto that left foot. Oh, the Rabona cross. Halland. Oh, I couldn't quite get the head of that. would have been beautiful. That would have been marvellous. So, Mendy with an easy catch and now trying to Launch a counter-attack as Reese James comes forward. He's got Jao Felix in some space. Jao Felix got plenty of uh, space to run into here. Jao Felix into Haaland. I think, do you know what? I swear I'm trying too hard to get Haaland a goal on camera. It's a good turn from Haaland that, but the cross is terrible. And it's 1-0 at half-time to Galatasaray. 19-minute mark. Falcao with the goal, but it's still 3-1 on aggregate. We've only had one shot. Dreadful. Right, aim of the game in the second half, shoot. That is what I want us to do. I do think you get guilty on full manual of, because obviously shooting is harder, um, I think you do get guilty of trying to walk the ball into a perfect goal-scoring opportunity. As, uh, said, well, we know that Galatasaray is still going to have to come and attack us because they're 3-1 down on aggregate, but Kante can, uh, can come forward here. Uh, not too many options for him. He's picked out Havertz pretty well. Who's going to just try to batter my way through? Leon Duma. Leon Duma gets it away. Belanda. Landonovic. Ooh, oh, God, they get so lucky with those bounces. Mersan. Or Mohan. He's Turkish, so I think that's how you say it. Belanda. Santalia. Up to Falcao. That's a good turn. And Emerson's got to uh, have his wits about him here. Mersan. Mohan tries to put it into the box, but he's blocked. And Italia. Gives it back to Abdullahi, who is uh, onside. It's going to be a corner ball to Galatasaray. They've started this half like they finished the first, knowing they've got to uh, they've got to work hard and get the goals. It's going to be Belanda to put the cross in, right-footed. In it comes, and Rudiger is underneath it to head that one away. We're going to ask a lot of Haaland to track back here, and he just takes out Abdullahi. And Kante pounces on the loose ball, and then well, it's all an absolute mess. And somehow Kante comes out with it and just runs straight into a defender because I, for, bit, I swear today I've forgotten how to play Provo. Like, everything just feels a little bit off. Oh, Jao Felix is going to get in that. Go on, Jao Felix. Oh, surely there was a foul in there, ref. Ah, oh, the defender was just stronger. Just stronger. Reese James can't get a tackle in. Atiba, right, let's go press. Let's go and press. Hunt in packs. Hunt impacts Atibo all the way out to um, Antalya. Merchan. Into Abdullah Back to Merchan again. Hunting impacts isn't working. It's pulling me all out of place. 
Falcao's got two. It's three, two. Don't do to this. Don't do this to me, game. Do not do this to me. Oh my word! I cannot throw away a three goal, a, three away goals lead in the Champions League to a team like Galatasaray. That would be absolutely dreadful. As Emerson's been caught on the ball by Merchan, and I mean Falcao's on a hat trick. They, they aren't pushing people forward. They know this game is there for the taking. Rhys James just, just shadowing. Just shadowing. Forcing backwards. That's it. Sills. Now Kovacic's turn. Just just block the cross. That's not blocking the cross. That's giving him an easy pass on the edge. Averts just hooks it away. Absolutely relentless this from Galatasaray. I'd, honestly, I didn't think this was going to happen. I thought it would be easy. Atibo on the edge. Tries to turn. Belanda. Falcao, Falcao shoots and well, I I there and look how, look how deep Haaland's come and I've given the ball away again. I need to just, I think I need to just clear my lines. Need to clear my lines and get us into a decent shape and that's what Mariba does and it's not just clearing his lines, it's actually a fabulous pass into Haaland who can lay it off to Felix, he's got a bit lucky. Ref, yeah, love the free kick, thank you. So, Zhao Felix caught late there. Just, yeah, I jink round him and it's a body check. But Haaland's off. He's come off for um, Osiman. Now, I just feel like we had to make a change. Right, Reese James. I can really do this going in. Reese James. It's up and it's over the wall. Oh, the keeper with a good save. Not enough curve on it. We're done with probably bringing on Dybala for just the free kick. There's uh, Emerson. Oh, There's just no, no options, lads. Done well, Emerson. Moriba into Havertz. Feeds that one through to Felix. Tries to cut back. Feeds it into Ossiman. Ossiman's in. Oh, he's hit the bar. And Moriba on the rebound. There we go. I took a touch. I thought I might have wasted the opportunity. But Moriba gets his first goal for Chelsea. Victor Ossiman's so unlucky. What a hit that was from Ossiman. As the boogie starts around by the corner flag. It's 2-1, 4-2. Oh, Galatasaray only two goals now, which is good. I mean, it was great play, this. Yeah, Haaland seems... I don't know, I just can't seem to get the best out of him. That's a great effort from Osimhen. And then Mariba had enough about him to take his time and fire in the rebound. Ah, oh, that's better. 20 minutes to go. 2-1 now to Galatasaray. 4-2 on, uh, on aggregate. We still need the confidence of getting a win, though, as Atibo. Is, uh, is he going to have to pace over Christensen? No, he's not. Christensen covers well. Rudiger just about gets to that one. Kovacic. Up to Ossiman, who seems to already have made a difference since coming on. Felix gives it back to Ossiman. Havertz. Now Chelsea, look at this. The confidence is flowing now. Emerson. Emerson tries to fire it in low. Oh, Ja Felix couldn't quite get there. Kovacic keeps it alive. Moriba into Emerson again. He's just been forced uh, a little bit wide there. Emerson trying to do a bit of trickery to keep some space. Kovacic. Lay that one on Mariba. He's already got one today. Oh, good save that one. And uh, yeah, the young midfielder signed from Barcelona, who doesn't look a thing like that in real life, is uh, well, he's, he's starting to come to life. It was a good little knockback here from Kovacic into his path, right-footed drive. Good save. Got us. Can't argue with that. Good save. Reese James with the corner in towards Rudiger at the front post. Tries to flick it on. Uh, Reese James is going to have a have a bite of the cherry to swing this one in. Havertz. Oh, it was a, I don't know why I tried to shoot from there. So a quick sub for us then. Um, Dybala has come on to replace Jao Felix. Uh, Jao Felix had a, a great, really good game, to be fair. I just thought well, I'd like to rest him, keep him fresh for uh, the upcoming Premier League games because we do need to really recover in those as well. As can Havertz get there? He can. And Dybala can get there to Ossiman offside. So another sub then. Uh, Glavenberch on for Kovacic in central midfield. Just a straight swap, that one. Nothing really uh, to write home about. But well done, Christensen, for winning that header. Dybala. Ah. I'll tell you what the other thing is. I, I, I should not be afraid to play balls over the top. You can get in um, quite well if you play balls over the top. I mean, not like that. That was a terrible ball, but and it's gone off. So, yeah, 15 minutes to go. 2-1 to Galatasaray, but uh, a, a more comfortable lead that I'm happy with, although I've just been robbed by Graven Birch there. And uh, it looks like they've shoved Leon Dharma up front. And uh, Oh, Kante, what a tackle that is. So we should get fair bit of space now and here is Moriba who's got our first goal to get us back into it Moriba sees the run of Dybala it's a wonderful ball through Dybala's in the little chip oh, oh I love this man I just love him so much we'll bring out his trademark celebration it's a lovely dink 
It's a lovely ball from Mariba. He's probably man of the match for me, Mariba. I know the ratings are all screwed up in pairs, but this I know it's a huge counter attack because they've pushed their centre back up to go and get the goal they need, but that's a great ball. And uh, Dybala, little dig, perfectly weighted. And that is 2 2 on the night. So hopefully now we can go and get. If we can go and get another goal and win on the night, then the scoreline doesn't really matter, does it? It's, it's two wins in the knockout stages. So, and uh, that's that's all that matters, really. Christensen wins this ball again, but that's not a good pass. Falcao looks to turn. Rahan will have a bit of time on this. You can just see that Galatasaray absolutely flooding men forward, and it does. The problem is, it does work for the computer because, well, for Fagouli's for hit the post, but it does work for the AI, them chucking men forward, because they can so quickly process the uh, differences in positions and where people are running and stuff like that. It does work for them, but Dybala could be in, or it was a, it was a sprinty touch when I tried to bring it down, so they're always more difficult. Luindama comes forward, the centre-back, back to Belanda, back to Luindama again, and... Rudiger just about gets a foot in and then again panic the clearance didn't I so they just get another chance as it's up in the air Christensen will win that Lindama who's been a right handful up here to be honest Reese James can, uh, put his foot through this one looking towards Dybala beating in the air Faguli oh great tackle from Kante and now this oh for god's sake as soon as I say something about a good counter attack opportunity I'll just pass it straight to a Galatasaray player Right, slow it down. Kante. Havertz. Had Mariba going, but we'll uh, pick out Ossiman instead with what is one of the worst touches I've ever seen in Pro Evo. Rudy is going to be covering that. We'll cancel that pass and just keep the ball. Back to Mendy in goal. Christensen. There's only about just under five minutes ago. Why wouldn't that ball, why would that ball not go just straight to Kante? It's, I mean, I'm aiming at him. It's an easy pass, but no, he runs away. And uh, they try to think I'm giving it to someone else. So player switching, as ever on pairs, is a little bit sceptical. Sceptical? It's not sceptical. That's not a word. Sceptical. But that's a goal kick. Should be game, set, match. As we're going to make our final substitution, which is uh, um, Jude Bellingham on for Kai Havertz. And a little bit of a, an unfamiliar position, you'd probably say, an attacking midfield. More of a central midfielder. But here he is, straight away on the ball. And he's got Ossiman making a run. And uh, well, the striker did stay on side, but couldn't take the ball with him. Dybala's got... A good interception there, and Dybala's got so much space to run into. A powerful drive. Probably should have put Ossiman in to try and get the win, but just Dybala in it. We've got to shoot from range. Everybody's just parted seas at the Chelsea back line, but uh, Christensen's there to put in a tackle, although Lundama has put in a great tackle. Falcao for his hat trick. He's hit the post. Lundama, the centre back, hit the other post. Oh my word. <laughs> Absolute crazy scenes here at the end. And it's a full-time whistle. 2-2. Two -two, we go through. Oh, which is good. I mean, yeah, we probably should have won that by more. Howland was not impressive. Didn't like that. Galatasaray hitting both posts at the end. Falcao's got man in the match somehow. I would definitely have given it to Mariba. I guess Falcao scored two goals, didn't he? So it's probably acceptable. Was there. Bayern Munich knock out. Man United, which isn't too bad. Barcelona qualify. Real Madrid qualify. Valencia qualify 9-5 on aggregate. Uh, Atletico Madrid go through. Benfica knock out Man City. And Liverpool knock out PSG. Okay, so some uh, big teams have gone, but some big teams remain. We'll go and see who we've got in the next round. We made life difficult. We certainly did, Kai Havertz. Well said. Yes, well said. All right, let's go and see who we've got in the next round. It's Liverpool. Oh, I've just been spanked by them 6-3. Oh, are you joking me? Right, we'll come back in one game's time. We're going to do Villa offline, and then it'll be the FA Cup semi-final against Wolves and Liverpool in the Champions League quarter-finals first leg. Oh, my word. And then it's Liverpool Spurs. It just doesn't get any easier, does it? Right, it's going to be... I'm going to have to be properly focused against Liverpool in the Champions League because that is going to be tough. Very tough. Very tough. As long as Origi doesn't play, I'm fine. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's been a pleasure having you with me. Yeah, it's coming to crunch time in the season, and we're in we're in the race for top four and Champions League and FA Cup. I think the league's gone a bit far beyond us now, 12 points off Tottenham. But, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. But thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, for now, I'm out. Cheers.